absolutely love this product. It is hands down my favorite home automation device. It is simple to use and it could be a, a complete home automation system by itself. But best of all, it works with Apple HomeKit right out of the box. So let's take a closer look at the Aquara Hub. The Aquara Hub is part of the Xiaomi brand from China. Now, the Aquara is kind of their break in to the Western markets. Xiaomi, of course, produced another hub, the Xiaomi Media Hub, which is essentially the same as the Aquara Hub, but with a few noticeable differences. Firstly, uh, the Xiaomi Media Hub is only in Chinese, and for it to work in New Zealand, it has to be set to the location of mainland China. Uh, and secondly, it's not compatible with Apple HomeKit. Uh, when I started my home automation journey, I purchased the Xiaomi Media Hub and I was really happy with it. Um, I was able to expose it to a home assistant and thus push it down to HomeKit. Uh, but when I made uh, my decision that I wanted my home automation platform to be solely working off HomeKit, I investigated the Aquara Hub and I haven't looked back since. The Aquara is essentially a Zigbee hub that connects to other Zigbee devices. The hub itself connects to your Wi-Fi and then the devices connect to the hub. Now this is really important in a uh, kind of enthusiast home automation environment where I don't have uh, you know really expensive access points that can cope with hundreds of different devices connected to them. I have a fairly simplistic network set up so I want to reduce the number of devices that have to connect to my Wi-Fi. That's where Zigbee comes in and that's what makes the Aquara Hub so attractive. The Aquara Hub can also be used as a security alarm system. I mean, it's, it's not the greatest security alarm system. I wouldn't have that solely as my alarm system, but it does activate an alarm if you set it up that way. It can also be used as a, um, a nightlight. So I have mine in the hallway, uh, which is a nightlight for anyone um, during the night. Um, and you can also use it for automation, such as um, motion triggers. So if you trigger a motion sensor, it will set an alarm off on the Aquara Hub or turn the light on. Uh, the Xiaomi Media Hub also has the ability to transmit radio, but so far I've only been able to do, I've only been able to find um, Chinese stations, so yeah. What are the devices that you can connect to your uh, Aquara Hub? Well, they have motion sensors, wireless buttons, temperature and humidity sensors, power sockets, door and window sensors, wireless and hardwired wall light switches, water leak sensors, air conditioner controllers, built-in wall power sockets, curtain controllers, smart door locks, vibration sensors, LED light bulbs, and a cube controller. So lots of devices are available with the Aquara Hub. In my house, I use the uh, wireless buttons. I have five wireless buttons. So uh, one of them is in each of the children's bedrooms so they can turn their lights on and off and their heaters on and off. I have two in the master bedroom, one either side of the bed, which allows us to turn on the bedside lamps on and off and of course, uh, the heat pump. I have um, temperature and humidity sensors. I have five of those around the house. I have uh, two motion sensors, one of them in my family room that triggers the morning lights and also uh, triggers the uh, Aquara hub light in the evening so I can tell if one of the kids has come through. Um, and I have a motion sensor in the master bedroom so that at night time you walk through the door and the bedside lamps come on straight away. You don't have to flick a light switch on or anything. Um, and I have power sockets. I have three power sockets at the moment. I love them. They are 
they are super small um, and I've just ordered four more to replace the Sonoff S20s that I'm currently using. I love my uh, Aquara Hub devices. So the pros of the Aquara Hub are that they are simple to use and easy to uh, set up. They are super affordable. Uh, there are lots of products available out there, as I've said. Um, they are HomeKit compatible right out of the box, but of course they also work with Amazon Echo and with Google Home and with If Then That. If This Then That. So the cons of the Aquara Hub, um, as far as I can tell, they only produce a Chinese plug. So uh, to use them in New Zealand, that means you either have to plug them in upside down or use an adapter. Um, they only ship from uh, China or Russia. They're the only two places I've found. So they can take uh, quite a while to get here. Um, and at this point, the Xiaomi Media or the Xiaomi Aquara Hub cameras uh, are not compatible with Apple HomeKit. So if you have those cameras, which I have, um, you will have to use a separate app for those. But I suspect that's probably more an Apple thing than it is a Xiaomi thing. So in summary, I'm a huge fan of the Xiaomi Aquara uh, products. I also uh, am a fan of the Xiaomi Media Gateway product as well. I still have that and I still use it. I have both gateways running at the same time. Uh, they are simple and easy to use, as I've said, um, and you can create some really complex automations with them. Of course, you can't do that in HomeKit yet, um, but if you purchase the separate app Home 3, then you can create some really complex automations for the devices that you can use in HomeKit. When iOS 13 comes out uh, later on this year, um, then you will be able to make those complex uh, automations in the app directly or via um, Siri shortcuts. Um, but at this point, you can do that with um, a second app, which links straight away with HomeKit. So it's not really a separate app, but it is. I love Aquara. If you want to know more, flick me an email at the address below. Um, if you liked this video, please subscribe and help me out. I, I'm new to this uh, and this is my new channel and uh, I have lots more videos to come. I will be doing individual reviews of all of the devices that I've talked about today to show you more in depth as to how they can be used. Mm -hmm.